early stimulation activities for the age cohort birth to two years old. And now we're moving on to the cohort, age cohort 18 to 24 months old. The title of the activity that we will engage in now is Pretend Pay. And for this activity, the resources that we will need are those that we would use for personal hygiene and care of the home, you know, for cleanliness. So we are going to need home, hairbrush, uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, bathing soap, a rag, and if you, we can also use pictures if you're not able to come up with those things, although your home should, you should be able to. So here, I have a picture of a bar of soap. What do you think this is used for? It's a bar of soap that we use to take a bath, we use it to bathe. We set that aside. Also, here's another picture of a bar of soap that we use to bathe. Do you see the bubbles on the soap? See the bubbles on this one? I know, I know you love bubbles. Children love bubbles. There's a picture of a person combing her hair. Here's another. And here's a picture of some articles of clothing, some clothes, clean clothes. Now, what is personal hygiene? That means keeping the body clean, keeping our entire body clean from the top of our head to the sole of our feet, keeping your body clean. So we shampoo our hair with shampoo. We wash our face with soap and water. Some people use a rag to wash their face as well. They have a face rag. We bathe our bodies. We clean our nails, our fingernails. We clean our toenails as well. And in between our toes, we also brush our teeth. And we do all of that to keep our bodies clean. What do you do to keep your body clean? I do that too. I brush my teeth too. What do you use to brush your teeth? You use toothpaste and a toothbrush? Lovely. Do I have a toothbrush here? I do. I have a toothbrush here. Do I have my toothpaste with me? I seem to have left it. But we're going to pretend, we are going to pretend to brush our teeth. So I'm going to take my pretend toothpaste. I'm going to take my pretend toothpaste. I'm going to squeeze some on my toothbrush and close it up. Then I'm going to put my toothbrush under the top to wet it up a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and brush my teeth. Go ahead, brush your teeth. We should brush our teeth for at least two minutes. Did you know that? Yes at least two minutes. Maybe I should set my timer to know when it's two minutes. Let me do that. I'm setting my timer for two minutes because I want to spend time and brush my teeth well. I want to have good oral hygiene. 
That means I want my mouth to be clean. So I'm going to find my timer and then I'm going to time myself for two minutes. Start. So I'm brushing my teeth for two minutes. So I'm going to start here. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, brush it every day. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, brush it every day. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, brush it nice and clean. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, brush it every day. I'm done with the bottom, now I'm going to the top. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, brush it every day. Brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it every day. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, make it nice and clean. Brush, brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it nice and clean. Oops, I need to spit. I'm gonna go again, nice and clean. Still have a lot of time to go. Two minutes seems to be a really long time, but that is a recommended time, at least two minutes to brush your teeth. I'm brushing it nice and clean. When I'm done, it should be sparkly and shiny. Almost there, almost there. Now I'm gonna brush my tongue because you have to brush your tongue. Brush your tongue, brush your tongue, brush, brush, brush your tongue, brush your tongue, brush your tongue, brush it nice and clean. Brush, brush, brush your tongue, brush your tongue, brush your tongue, brush, brush, brush your tongue, brush it nice and clean. We still have some time to go. Brush your tongue, brush your tongue, brush, brush, brush your tongue, brush your tongue, brush your tongue, brush it nice and clean. How are you going coming on with brushing your teeth? Are you brushing all parts of your mouth, your teeth, and your tongue? Are you doing it well? Come on, a few more seconds to go. We're almost there. Brush it nice and clean. Nice and clean. Now rinse your mouth with some water. Wash that toothpaste from your mouth. Get it out. Go again, wash your mouth again. Great, lovely. Now you can wash your toothbrush out. And you know, flash it off a bit so that you dry, you want your toothbrush to be dry. And then you put it away in its right place. What you could also do is, you know, some adults we floss. So I floss in the mornings and at nights. So when you visit your dentist, they will advise you when you are able to do this. And you go ahead and floss. Others use mouthwash when they're done brushing and flossing to keep, to keep their mouth a nice fresh feeling and smell. So that's another way that we can keep our body or mouth clean. So that's one thing. What else can we do? Let's say I here is a bar of soap. It's a bar of soap. What do we do with a bar of soap? And a rag? What do you do with a bar of soap and a rag? What do you what does your mommy do or your daddy? Do they put you in a bath with water? Do they soak your rag? Make it all nice and sunny? And then do they take that rag and wash your body? Wash your face, wash, wash, wash your face, wash it every day. Wash all parts of your face and your neck. Wash it really well. We want to get rid of all that dirt and sweat. And then we wash behind our air. You know you have to wash behind your hair, right? You wash behind your hair. Then you continue to wash your body. Mm. Take a nice bath. Practice good personal hygiene, keeping yourself clean and wash your hands. Continue doing that until your entire body is washed all the way down to the sole of your feet. Remember to wash between your fingers. If you have a nail brush, sometimes mommy will brush or clean out those nails during your bath. If the dirt goes too deep down, they will wait until after and cut your nails. But all parts of your body is washed. That is what mommy does. She will probably shampoo your hair next, or maybe she does it before she bathes your body. Your body. 
but she shampoos your hair. She washes your hair. Go ahead, pretend to wash your hair. Where's your shampoo? You need shampoo, right? Where's my shampoo? Okay. I'm gonna squeeze some shampoo in my hand. I'm gonna wet up my hair. Go ahead, wet up your hair. Get it all wet. Lather that shampoo in your hand. Rub it up, rub it up, rub it up. Go ahead, pretend to wash your hair. Scrub. Use the tips of your fingers, the pads of your fingers, and you're gonna scrub your scalp. Mmm, feels good. Go ahead. Shampoo your hair. We're keeping our bodies clean. We're practicing good personal hygiene. Does that sound like a rhyme? Clean hygiene. Clean hygiene. Let's keep clean. Practice good personal hygiene. Let's keep clean. Practice good personal hygiene. Sounds like a rhyme to me. Go ahead. Shampoo your hair. When it is nice and clean, then mommy will wash the shampoo out. Doesn't that water feel good on your scalp? Yes, it does. Then we'll take a towel and we'll dry the hair on our head. Good job. What else do you do to keep clean? Yes, I do that too. I clean my nails. I will take something that's made for nail, you know, maybe a nail clip, and I'll get the dirt out. And I'll probably cut off the excess nail, you know, because I don't want to scratch myself or scratch anyone. So we'll cut away the excess nail so that dirt does not get lodged under the nail. To keep our nails clean. What else can we do? Go ahead, show me. Okay, clean her ear, lovely. So, what does mommy do? Does she take a rag and put it on the tip of her finger like this and then clean your ear? Her ear lobe, this is your ear lobe. Does mommy clean your ear lobe to keep you clean? Behind your ear, inside. Go ahead, clean your ear lobe. Pretend to clean your ear lobe, go ahead. Clean it. Nice. Now we move to the other one. Just on the tip of our finger. We clean the end of your hair. Clean the end of your hair. Now we clean our air lobe. Nice. Are we done? Did we clean all the parts of our body? Did we use all the things that we need to use to keep our bodies clean? Let's check. Did we brush our teeth with toothpaste and our toothbrush and water? Did we? Check. Good job. What else do we need? Did you need to keep yourself clean? Did you use your rag and soap and water to Scrub your face, wash your face, rinse it off with water. Did you do that? You did. Good job. Check. What's another thing that you did to keep your body clean? Yes, you did. You did do that. You shampooed your hair. You did. So that's another thing that we can check off. Check. So we did three things so far. What else did you do to keep your body clean? What else did you do to practice good personal hygiene? You took a bath. Yes, you used soap, water, your rag, and you scrubbed your body and you did it really well. I can just imagine how fresh you smell. So fresh and clean, clean, fresh and clean. Yes. What else did you do? So let's check that out. Check. So you had a bath, you washed your body. What else did you do to keep yourself clean? to practice good personal hygiene. You took care of your fingernails. Lovely. Yes, mine are nice and clean too. What else? Your toenails. Yes, 
we did that, did we? Let's do it again, just in case we didn't. So we're gonna look at our toes, look at your toes, look at your toenails, look to see if they're nice and clean. Look at them, go ahead, look to see if they're nice and clean. If they are, good job. If they're not, then we're going to clean them. Mommy will clean them for you. But in the meantime, let's pretend to clean our toenails. Are you done? Lovely. Now we can check that off. Check. What else did we do? We did one final thing. Do you remember what it is? It's the last thing that we do. That's right. We cleaned our airlobe. We cleaned our airs, our airlobes. We cleaned behind both of them and we cleaned inside. Let's check that off. Check. You are nice and clean. You are fresh and clean. You practiced good personal hygiene. Now, can we also, can we also clean our homes, take care of the things in our homes, make it nice and clean? We want to practice cleanliness. Good personal hygiene also includes taking care of our home, keeping it nice and clean so that we do not get sick, so that we're in a pleasant smelling place. We want our homes to be clean and fresh. So we clean our homes as well. What are some of the things that mommy or daddy or grandma, grandpa, uncle, what are some of the things that they use to keep home clean? Can you name some? Did you say soap and water? Yes. Do you notice that we use soap and water a lot in keeping clean? We use it to keep our bodies clean. We use it to keep our homes clean. We even used it when we were doing bubbles. So soap and water is very important. Do you realize that? Yes. What else do we use to keep our homes clean? Yes, disinfectant, yes, yes. We, we have been using a lot of that. What else? Bleach. Ah, yes, and, and some, did you say alcohol as well? Yes, we use it to wipe surfaces. We can do that, you know. Right. What else? A broom and a scoop. A mop and a bucket. Lovely. So we use all those tools and chemicals like bleach and what uh, soap, liquid soap, disinfectant and alcohol to keep our surroundings clean. Good job. Now let us pretend to clean somewhere in our home. Which part of your home do you want to clean? Let's pretend to clean your room. Can you go to your room and pretend to clean? I am going to try to clean up my table. It's so cluttered, it's filled with many things. So I'm going to pack these things away neatly and I'm going to use some alcohol, some wipes drenched in alcohol, and I'm going to clean the surface of my table. So I'm going to keep my surrounding clean. So I'm going to neatly pack my things away. I'm going to zip this first up. I'm going to put away all my papers so that when I'm ready for them, I'm able to find them again. So I'm setting them aside. So we're finished with our comb and brush, we comb our hair. I'm gonna set this aside, making space, clean my surface well. I'm gonna take my friends and I'm gonna set them aside as well. I'm returning things to their place. Whenever you're done with something, return it to its place. You know, to keep order and to keep things out of your way so that you do not trip and fall and get hurt. To avoid clutter. See, now everything is gone. What do I need to do? Did you say clean the table? Sure, I'll do that. So, this is my alcohol. I'm gonna spray some. I'm gonna spray some 
on my salt working wipe. All right, I'm gonna spray some on my wipe. Ah, there it goes. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my time, and I'm gonna clean the top of my table. How are you coming along with cleaning your room? Choose something in your room to clean up. I'm trying to get all of the table clean. All of it clean. Now I'm going to wipe around the edges like that because, you know, sometimes we do this and we'll hold on to it. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to clean around the edge, the edges of my table. My table has four sides. It's not round. Ah, I'm almost done. Are you almost done? It smells so clean and fresh. It looks clean and it smells fresh. Do you see a difference? Are you done? Is your area nice and clean? How does it smell? Does it smell fresh? Is it pleasant? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good job at cleaning up your area. Well done. Now, let's recap what we did. What did we talk about? Spoke about personal hygiene. Do you remember what that means? Yes, it means keeping your body clean from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, your hair, from your hair to the bottom of your feet, your nails, your ears, your mouth. You clean everything. Do you remember what we use to keep ourselves clean? Yes, we use toothpaste and our toothbrush to keep our mouth clean. We use a comb and brush to comb our hair. Did you say soap and water and a rag to wash your body? You are right. What else? Nail clip to cut our nails. Good job. What about the home? What do we use to keep our homes clean? Soap. Yes, water. Yes, disinfectant, a broom and a spoon, a mop and a bucket to mop the floor. You are so right. I'm so proud of you. Well done. Good job. Now, I am going to read you a story. The title of the story is I can't take a bath. I can't take a bath. Can you imagine that? I wonder why not. By Irene Samuels. Illustrated by Aaron Boyd. I can't take a bath. What do you think will happen in this story? Look at his face. How does his face look? He looks upset. It looks like he really doesn't want to take a bath. Let's see why. I can't take a bath. Seems as if he's testing the temperature of the water. Maybe it's too cold or hot. I don't know. Maybe. I can't take a bath, mom. Can't you give me a break? I've got this really bad, awful headache. I think a bath would be a big mistake. He has so many reasons for not wanting to take a bath. He argues well. Monday, Tuesday, can you say it with me? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The thing about baths, mom, is they never last. Next thing I know, you would want me to take another one. We have to save water. Think of the thirsty plants and dying fish. I want to save them, that's my wish. A lot of writing words here. There's this boy I know who took a bath. He's never been heard from again. I can't take that path. It makes me sad just to think about him. He really doesn't want to take a bath. He's finding every reason not to, creating stories and everything. 
Oh, mom, I forgot. There's a monster in the back room. Going in there would mean certain doom. He's been to every house on our street. Look at the mom's face. She looks irritated. <laughs> now it's our turn. He makes your skin itch. Your hair falls out and your eyes burn. Do you agree with him? Do you think this will happen in his bathroom? Look at that bathroom uh, monster. Hmm. I see. No monster on the hair. See mom looking? There's no monster on the hair. He's making things up. Well, I think you gave him quite a scare. Uh-oh, mom. I'm going to sneeze. You don't want me to catch some terrible disease. Oh no, I feel sick. I need to go to bed. You really want me to take a bath instead? Okay, okay, close your eyes, no peeking. Don't look now, no fear, sneaking. Turn your back, step outside. Now close the door. So his mom is doing all of those things that, she, that he's asking her to do. Hear that water splashing? Hear those boats crashing? It's fun to take a bath. You can blame your bath, see? I'm taking a great bath. Is he taking a great bath? Is he telling the truth? Okay, okay, I'll get in the water this time. Taking a bath should be a crime. <laughs> but wait, mom, I don't have the right soap. I can't take a bath without my soap on a rope. Soap and rope are rhyming ones. I need my special towel too. No, not the red one, my towel is blue. I also need my rubber ducky. Taking a bath is just so yucky. I know this water must be hot too. Oh no, it's not. Okay, okay. I guess it's not so bad. Please close the shower curtain. Just a tad. Mom, I'm a sea serpent. From the deep sea I was sent. Now I'm a submarine. So far on the water I can't be seen. Oh, this bath is so nice. Mom, I can take a bath twice. Nice and twice are any words. So, the title of the story, I Can't Take a Bath. What were some of the reasons that he gave for not wanting to take a bath? Do you remember? That's right. He said that there was a monster in the bathroom. But was that true? No. Do you remember another reason for not wanting to take a bath? He thought that that would be wasting water and that plants and the fish would die. But should we not bathe because we don't want plants and fish to die? No, we should bathe because we want to keep our bodies smooth. How did the story end? Did he still refuse to take a bath? No, he did not. He actually enjoyed taking the bath. See, it says, oh, this bath is so nice. Mom, can I take a bath twice? He wanted to do it again. He wanted to do it another time. He enjoyed the bath. Why? because the water, the temperature of the water was right, and he got to play with his toys, and he got to pretend. I hope you enjoyed that story. I did. Just a few reminders before we go. So, remember, we can have fun with bubbles. We can have fun pretending to call. We can also have fun pretending to Dress up and keep, him, keep our bodies clean. 
Until next time, just before we go, just one reminder before we go. You may visit ECC's website for activity plans at www.ecc.gov.jm. Until next time, I'm Donna Bainbridge. Bye-bye.